Hi everyone. Today is a beautiful day. It is one of the first days out of the year where I can finally wear my shorts. All right. Well, uh, today is one of the to-do list check thingies. Um, and uh, I believe we're going to be doing the planting in the greenhouse. So yeah, come along with me. Elohim willing, we'll get everything we need to get done today. Alrighty, we're in the greenhouse. So, um, since my, uh, since my greenhouse tour video, um, I don't think much has changed. Uh, the spinach has definitely started sprouting up and a lot more, um, now that the days are longer, it's, uh, brighter and, uh, warmer too. So the spinach is growing beautifully. We've got a nice bed over here. Um, we've been picking it off and eating it with uh, eggs in the morning and and some salads and stuff. Uh, delicious on on uh, sandwiches and stuff. So this is um, the cold frames that I set up a while back. Um, so you can start seeing that you know there's stuff sprouting up now. Um, so, you know, I'm slowly picking off the weeds that I know that are weeds. Then, you know, and the ones that I'm not too sure of, I am, uh, waiting until they sprout up a little bit bigger. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, so I do got a lot of growing space. Um, so it looks like, uh, I, uh, planted yesterday over here, um, some more spinach. Um, so... I guess we'll see what sprouts up, what doesn't. If it doesn't, because this is seed. Um, this seed, this was seed from a plant that grew in the greenhouse last year that went into seed, so then uh, dried up, and I had a whole bush of spinach. So it did extremely well because obviously you could see a whole bed was uh, filled with uh, spinach. So. So it didn't do that bad. So I put more seed over here. I just broadcasted it, and then um, from making the, the 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 compost, the starting mix that I made with for the trays, I just uh, had extra, and I kind of broadcasted it in this area. Leak. I'm gonna rip out today. Um, will whatever doesn't, you know. Uh, whatever looks like, you know, eh, we'll pull it out, give it to either the chickens uh, or the ducks. They'll probably eat it. And uh, the nicer ones I'll take uh, inside. And my wife will more than likely, you know, make either a uh, salad or put it into soup or cut it up. And then we'll freezer it. And then whenever we need to, we'll just use it. So... And then I got the spinach. Um, thinking of just cleaning up a little bit more over here, and adding some more seed. Um, I don't know. I I, I want to keep the spinach plants because they're growing nicely. I don't want. I just want to leave them. So I just kind of want to maybe plant around them. Um, I'll think of something. Just place something random in here. Um, I got somewhere. I got some Swiss chard seeds. Uh, this is uh, Swiss chard over here. Um, I planted last year some Swiss chard over here, and for some reason, only a couple plants grew, and then the frost came in, and then, uh, killed most of them off, and these kind of, I guess, survived the winter, so now they're just, uh, starting to sprout up because nice and warm, and the days are longer, so I'll let these grow out, um, and I'll just plant more Swiss chard in this area, and then... Alright, and then I got uh, rhubarb that's coming out in this thing. And there's another one right there, um, and it doesn't look like it's sprouting up yet. Um, so, like, this area is more than likely going to be all rhubarb. And uh, I'll definitely be doing some whole cleaning in this area and everywhere for that matter because uh, uh, kind of a lot of garbage and stuff accumulated. So, um, here we got spinach, onions here and there in random places. I don't want to cut them off because uh, we green onions for random stuff too and eggs. So I'll leave them. Uh, these are like uh, raspberry plants. Um, 
It looks like there's a new, new one sprouting up. If you can see that, yeah. So there's a whole bunch in this area that are sprouting up. And we'll just let them grow. I'm just curious to see um, whether, you know, they'll produce fruit this year. And then I'll have raspberries uh, in the greenhouse for a little bit longer. So it's pretty interesting that it just grew from the other side of uh, the greenhouse. Um, here's my compost pile thingy heap. Uh, I think I'm going to maybe pull it out and, you know, just wheelbarrowed it out and then put it onto a different compost pile just so I can be able to have this extra room that this has taken up. Uh, I had some biochar um, from like uh, from a smoking woods, uh, smoking cheeses and 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 meat. So I put a bucket full of biochar, and then I mix some cow fresh cow poop in it. Put some water, let the bacteria kind of inoculate it, and we'll see. Maybe that works. Maybe that'll work. I got to be careful because. It could be, um, what was it, anaerobic, so um, I know you're not supposed to keep it in long, so if anything, I might just take it and dump it onto a compost pile and just kind of mix it in, and it'll be uh, really good for uh, either the garden or out onto the pasture. So, and I recommend it for anybody that is, um, if you've never heard of biochar, um there's a whole bunch of videos on youtube uh talking about it it is it is pretty cool stuff um making your own biochar and then uh inoculating it and then putting it into your garden it has uh you know like a shelf life it doesn't decompose carbon doesn't so it'll uh it has like you know a thousand years or something like that and uh, it'll sit in the garden for a thousand years and it will also um, it has really tiny little pores and the bacteria actually have a place to kind of dwell in inside these, uh, these, uh, pieces of carbon and the charcoal and, uh, it just protects them and they survive longer and better and multiply better. And it just, there's a lot of benefits into it. So if you're interested in that, uh, I'm no expert in it, you know, I'm just giving it a try and uh but there's definitely a lot of people that really know their stuff that are on youtube that will tell you all about it and uh it's just pretty neat that's just something i came across in my whole research um so here we got the seeds that we are planting today um i got my swiss chard um it's some kind of seeds just from the grocery store i got the mi gardener seeds um you know really good uh youtuber he has excellent um you know uh, videos on education uh, educating about gardening home gardening all that stuff he's uh really excellent i recommend uh, him to anybody and um you know he has uh his own lineup like his own seeds that uh, he sources, um, I'm not sure, you know, how, what, I don't remember, and then, um, but he has awesome seeds, and they're like 99 cents each, and there's quite a bit of them, like this one, turnips have 300, you know, uh, kale's 150, so, you know, there is a, a lot of seeds for the money, um, and they're heirloom, and there's mostly, you know, he has organic ones, and, um, and, yeah, I, I highly recommend getting seeds from him because he has, um, I might, uh, just put a link in the description, uh, to his channel or to his website for, to buy seeds and then, um, not paid product placement or anything. Uh, so these are other random carrots that are bought at the store. I, I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll try planting those. And then we got radishes. Uh, this is uh, the survival seed for patriots. A long time ago, I um, got, I guess, marketed to uh, about like a survival kit because it was it was in my early stages of research and stuff. So I was kind of opening my eyes to all of this like lies and deceptions. And there was a lot of uh, you know talk about uh, end of the world. Um, and 
you know, that's still close to happening. There's a lot that goes into that. I'm not going to get into that. But, um, so basically there was like a 25 year kit, like bag, dry food, um, that lasts 25 years. Um, basically comes in totes. So I, I purchased that and then these seeds came in it. Yeah, these are old seeds. I don't know if they'll sprout up or anything. I used them last year. Most of them came up. Uh, they had a pretty successful germination rate, but the longer they sit, the worse they get. Um, and they were open, so I don't, I don't know. But we'll just plant it, um, that and put it into the ground and let Yahweh do his work, and whatever he, you know, germinates, he'll germinate. All right. So let's get started. All right, I made it back behind the greenhouse. I'm gonna sift some extra material so that I have for the seeds, uh, for the beds. Yeah, uh, and then I was working on the hose a little bit and I already planted carrots. So now, next on the list is uh, sift a little bit of more material because I'm running low uh, and it's good to kind of spread a little bit uh, to kind of build up and add a little more into my beds in the greenhouse, so. All right, here we go. All right, we got ourselves some really nice compost. Oh man, some beautiful stuff. I really enjoy sifting this playing in the dirt, getting hands dirty, just feeling all of this beautiful soil. That's beautiful, it's rich in organic matter. Got some poop, got some trees. Man, you got a little bit of everything. Oh man, I pray that this stuff grows good. Sorry, I'm out of breath a little bit. Thing is a little heavy. And it's uh, that time of the year where finally I get to move and work out, lose a little bit of weight, because it kind of grew, builds up after a while. All right, well, I'm going to get this area cleaned up, because I got dill that was growing here, so I'm just going to clean all this up, put some fresh compost and I'm actually going to leave all of the seeds and I'll let the dill just grow out here in this area. All right. Okay, and then um, I planted the carrots over there. And I just redid the hose fitting. Um, basically, I was just messing around with it. Um... It was, uh, there was basically another, uh, thing that just made it go out in a way that I didn't need. So I just redid it and then I shortened the hose because it was long and, you know, I had a tendency to trip over it. It was, uh, about that time to finally cut it. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to plant probably in this area also where the coal frames are and, uh, where else? And then I'll just water everything. I might find something to put place in this area over here. Um, we'll see. Uh, yeah, and then I'll just do a little bit of cleaning as I go. And, uh, yeah. Stay tuned. doing there but because 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 ma because mama loves me 
and Clara because all together we're a family. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we need to thank the Lord that we are saved here. <laughs> we are his savior. That's right. He is our savior. <sighs> don't you? I'm cutting this really hard, don't you? You're doing a great job, buddy. <sighs> Keep at it. All right. Well, I trimmed up all the leaks. Cats been help me. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, those are some beautiful leaks. Hey, Praise Yahweh. You can do Man, it. these things overwintered very nicely, and they're going to be the delicious. Rest. You can do, the... do the rest. All right, you'll hold while Daddy does the rest, all right? You'll hold the camera. All right, you're going to record? All right, so let's do it into this bin. Hold on. You're going to be my uh, videographer? Mm -hmm. All right. You gotta record what daddy's doing. Alright. I'm gonna record. You're gonna record? Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright. Like, <laughs> hi? Yeah, say hi. Alright, hi. We're in the greenhouse and we're um, cutting some. Um, onions and that's leek and leek and we're planting, yeah, we're putting some seeds in the ground, right? Uh huh. And we're planting and doing hard work, yeah, that's right. And thank the Lord God is hey, say hi, <laughs> you say hi. <laughs> no, you're on camera. Huh? You're on camera. Alrighty. So, we have planted this entire bed, middle bed. Um, I planted over here the carrots. And then I'm going to put a little bit of more cilantro in this area. Because I had cilantro here last year. Some sprouted up. I'm just going to plant some more in that spot because it grew really nice um here we got onions i had little um onions that i put in a few days ago so there's going to be some here and there that will more than likely sprout up so i'm just going to keep this uh you know watered really nicely and then so that's that and then i'm gonna plant more than likely, just off camera, I'm just going to plant the rest of this area out. Um, and then I'll just say in one of my future videos um, what I planted there. It's not really, you know, there's only so much. This is kind of boring anyway for, you know, content, I guess. So we'll just plant all this out. And yeah, we will cross... Planting in the greenhouse off the list. So we still got we still got Spanish onions, broccoli, cauliflower, lettuce, um, Paris Island lettuce. We got Napa cabbage, iceberg lettuce, some uh, another thing of broccoli and cauliflower. I think I said cauliflower again. So I'll just plant that in that area somewhere. Um, over here I planted radishes. So more than likely that the rest that you saw there are gonna is gonna go there. Um I think I might put something less there or something that will grow shorter. Um because I have I had a lot of tomatoes grow here, so I think uh I'm gonna let some come up. Um I really like uh the tomatoes growing in the greenhouse. So we'll do that. Alrighty. Well, uh, I think that's a uh, uh, crossed off the list, uh, the to do list. Thank you so much for you know joining us uh, on this uh, beautiful, beautiful day. That the that man Yahuwah, he just uh, 
It is beautiful. It is beautiful what he gives us. So praise him and his son. Um, we got all this going to plant. Cross it off the list. Thank you. May Yahuwah bless you and your families. Thank you so much for watching. And just have a great day. Have a blessed uh, growing season. Thank you. Take care. Bye.